Well, hey everybody, it is Sunday, the somethingeth of uh, September. I'm not filming in my usual uh, backyard location because there are a gaggle of about 10 obnoxious kids outside who have been screaming for the last few hours and I really don't want them disrupting my video. Because I've got a cool one, it's a little bit of a different one. I'm not reviewing a sauce today and I'm not reviewing a spicy salty product. I'm reviewing a spicy ramen. I've never done this before. Um, this is a new one. I found it on Amazon a couple weeks ago, but then I just went to the Hong Kong market, the international market here in Tacoma, and uh, bought a four-pack of it. I have prepared the bowl according to the directions. I'm afraid, though, it's more liquidy than as portrayed in that photo. So, you know, I thought that I, uh, I thought that I had preserved um, eight tablespoons of water to mix the uh, spicy liquid into, but. Whatever it kind of looks like a kind of looks like a sort of a thick thickish soup broth of what you see in here, um, but yeah. Uh, so the gimmick here is well, it says not just spicy, and then the gimmick here that I, I kind of was like I think this is kind of cool. Um, it says the amount of sauce controls the spiciness, so they tell you you know different uh, you know different percentages of the sauce packet will yield uh, different degrees of spiciness, which you know makes sense and is true. It's probably true of any spicy ramen, but it's just cool that this particular company decided to point it out. All right. So I did the, uh, so mildly spicy would be 40% of the sauce packet. Just right spicy, 60. I love spicy, 80. And then crazy hot, 100%. So I used 100% of the sauce packet. What I won't be doing is eating 100% of this ramen bowl because uh, the whole thing is 550 calories and I'm on a diet. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to eat some of the noodles. I'm going to drink some of the liquid. I'm going to tell you how spicy it is and how good it is. All right. Because some spicy ramens are just, just taste like heat. And other spicy ramens taste absolutely delicious. And they, they sort of coax you into eating the entire ramen bowl. And then your mouth is on fire. Because these uh, spicy ramens, um, they tend to have a slow building heat. So let's go ahead and try it. All right, first impression, the sauce is very nice and smoky. I like that about it. I'm not getting a heat yet, really, but this stuff does have a build. No, that's excellent smokiness. Mm. And actually, what appears to have happened in the last five minutes is um, that the noodles have absorbed a lot of liquid. So when I first made it, I thought it looked kind of, the sauce looked kind of soupy, but um, the noodles seem to have absorbed it, which is cool. I'm starting to get a little bit of build here. For sure it's hot. Not the spiciest ramen I've ever had. But, um, uh, now, after a few bites, there's definitely some real heat in there. <clears throat> this is not a joke of a ramen. This is spicy. This is real spicy. It's spicy. And it's very flavorful. It's very smoky and umami. I really like whatever's in that. So let's take a look at the ingredients. We'll take a look at the ingredients and we'll let the uh, spice build a little bit. All right, so in the sauce is stir-fried flavor base. So that's... Soy sauce, water, chili seasoning powder, and garlic. There's sugar, water, red pepper seed oil, MSG, salt, red pepper powder, oleoresin paprika, button mushroom extract, oleoresin capsaicum, oh no, or capsicum. There's pepper extract in the sauce. I promised myself I would never consume anything with pepper extract in it again, unless it was a very small amount, so hopefully it is. Now that's a little disappointing. So they used a cheat for the heat level. Black pepper powder, beef flavor. Um, and then the flake is just roasted sesame seeds and seaweed. Okay. Let's eat a little bit more. It's not painfully spicy, but it's, um, it's, a, it's a good heat level. I mean... So I'm not going to, I don't know, I need to come up with like a new standard for spicy ramens because 
I've been eating just like hot sauce after sauce after sauce after sauce after sauce. And so, you know, <clears throat> what would normally be like an eight or nine for heat for me has dropped down to a four or five because I eat so many. I guess I'm going to apply a different standard to this. As far as spicy ramens that I've had recently, this is near the top of the pile. Um, I had a Korean one with a green and black packaging. I can't remember what it was called. It was pretty decently spicy, but I mean, it would only hit, you know, on my like spicy ramen scale, I guess it would probably have hit a five. This is like more like, this is like closer to like a six or a seven. It's making my nose run a little bit. It's good heat. Really good heat, really good flavor. Now I think at this point, I've eaten about half the bowl. It's probably built up to the, the peak of uh, heat intensity that it's going to. I've given it a few minutes. Um, that is a very good spicy ramen. It's not overwhelmingly spicy though. Like, <clears throat> a spicy food novice could handle this. They'd probably be freaking out a little bit, but a spicy food novice could handle this. It won't, it's not like, I can feel that, <laughs> I can feel that oleo resin capsicum burning my lips. That often does it when, um, when they put that in, um, in a ramen sauce, um, it'll burn your lips. That's what I feel there. I don't think there's that much oleo resin capsicum in it though. It would be a lot hotter if there were. There's just probably just a little bit in it, probably a very small amount. Um... But yeah, the heat the heat level is manageable. Like I could probably eat this entire bowl and I wouldn't experience anything more than I am now. Um, it's good. It's got a good heat build. It kind of builds slowly up to a peak. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, get it if you see it. Um, that the four pack that I bought was uh, ten ninety nine. I think it's worth it. This is good ramen. Um, my son's a real aficionado of spicy ramen. I'm curious to see what he thinks of it. He's eating some pretty freaking spicy uh, ramen stuff. And I have, I'm going to pause this and I'll just go and show this before I close out the video. I have a uh, particularly spicy uh, chicken ramen sauce that I put into all of his ramens. He likes them like mouth burning hot. So let me go get that. Yeah, this um, 2X spicy uh, Bulldog uh, hot sauce, artificial spicy chicken flavor. This is the stuff. Tastes delicious and adds real serious heat to uh, ramen bowls. And what he'll do is he'll take a super spicy ramen and then he'll be like, Dad, when you make it, can you just add like even more of this? He likes his ramen super hot. This isn't at an extreme level, but it, it is good heat and it's very tasty. So yeah, I highly recommend it if you see it. Okay, well that's it for today. Got a bunch more uploads coming uh, soon. Um, but yeah, that's it for now.